Oh, hello, all my um, oh, hello, all the um, my gorgeous brothers and sisters in Jesus, and all the sweet little children out there. Um, today's story is um, is about um the um a land of the imagination, the land of the imagination, and here is the story. The sun was sweetly shining. Jard could hear crying coming from a distance. He said, Dad, I can hear crying, his dad replied. There is no crying. There was crying, however, and it seemed that and it seemed very much seemed that it was coming from a place that could only be visited with the imagination. Jard was starting to embrace his imagination. Within this place within this place there seemed it seemed to to be that within this place a wooden stool was crying. Why did the carpenter make me a stool when I wanted so much to be a doll, just like Pinocchio? Jard said, Dad, let's race to the river. Um, they reached the river. His dad smiled and handed Jard the paper boat. They walked off the bridge and under it. Jard put the boat on the river smiling. The crying sounded louder and louder to Jard. But other people walked across the bridge without even hearing as much as a whisper. Other voices seemed to be shouting out out to Jard, such as walk under the bridge, for under the bridge there are many secrets which can only be opened by using the key of imagination. Jard's dad still did not hear a thing. A little girl called Vivian ran under the bridge. Holding her dad's hand, she proclaimed, Daddy, there are, there are um, so many voices under the bridge. But Vivian's dad did not hear the voices either. The river running seemed to have crystal shining off of it as the sunlight hit the river. Pigeons flew under the bridge. Under the bridge, they seemed to have many lovely colours in their feathers, shimmering with lovely pink, gold and turquoise colours. Jod and Vivian noticed the beautiful colour changes, but their dad saw nothing except pigeons and sparrows flying under the bridge. Fishes were swimming happily under the bridge. Chard and Vivian could hear them, them singing along with the bees. As bees landed on the flowers along the riverbed under the bridge, then they hovered over the river. Then the bees hovered over the river. Charge and Vivian thirsted to take a peek into the land of imagination. The adults could not see into the imagination then. However, they could still they could still could feel a calming peace hitting off from the waters. Jar smiled. I bet there are many deep secrets to be found here, Vivian nodded. But what are they doing there? Come, let's find out. Their dad stood still. Only saw a river flowing. They only saw a river flowing. They wondered to themselves if these secrets were coming from a child's innocent mind, filled with wonder and enthusiasm, or if there are really secrets there. They smiled as they ran the children smiled as they ran to the top of the bridge to jump and swim in the river. Their dad just walked back to the banks and sat on the grass. Jard and Vivian jumped into the waters below. They let the water flow, drift them off along. In along. Suddenly they entered into a different dimension. It was a very peaceful land filled with fairies rainbows, unicorns, gold paths and buildings, gold dust and endless love were sprinkled over them by gnomes and trolls who creaked to them on the other side with big grins. Everywhere people and creatures were having endless fun and laughter. George's paper boat was there, except now it was a brilliant golden ship that sparkled in the sun. It was sailing the crystal sea by gnomes, fairies and trolls. 
even the trees were happily dancing and clapping their hands. Vivian smiled, this place is amazing, where are we? A gnome smiled, we are in a small part of paradise. Back on earth, trees long to just uproot themselves so that they are no longer bound in the ground. Here they can be, be free and walk and clap their hands with joy. They would love to be each child's friend. However, like people back on earth, some are good but others are bad. Both trees and people are kindly fed by the Creator. Trees taking food via their feet are what you humans will call roots. And people taking food from the upper parts of their body, the holes in the bottom of their heads, called a mouth. Yet the food serves the same purpose, gives energy and keeps alive. Now we have pure energy to keep us alive and we no longer need food. However, we still love to eat for pleasure, even though we never feel hungry or thirsty. The gnome took them to a table. It had ice cream, chips, candy cakes, all the things that are unhealthy to eat here on earth. But the gnome smiled, don't worry, here the food has zero calories. We eat and eat what we want. It has no sugar yet tastes even sweeter. Plus, we enjoy having a food fight. Here you are, you are allowed to play with your, your food all you like. Vivian and Jard had fun, but then they heard distant cries again. Vivian puzzled. If this is paradise, why do we hear crying? The gnome smiled. Yes, indeed, you did hear crying. And the carpenter does indeed live here. In fact, he is the king of this place. And your world too. The stall is not really here, for the stall is a figment of your imagination. You see, when you can see with your spiritual eyes, you can see um, into all worlds. The stall represents you, you're the stall back on earth. You, like the stall, does not want to be what the carpenter made them to be. You keep resisting. But a part of you is still troubled by that and is crying out. What the stool does not realise is that he is going to be made for the creator who represents the sorry that what the stool does not realise is that he is going to be made for the carpenter and the carpenter is gonna have him as his own soul to sit on and put on display for all to see. He will be admired by many. The stool is not real but represents the cry in your heart. You really want to be a football play player. However, you're not really all that good at playing football, are you? Jai shook his head sadly. The gnome turned to Vivian. You want to be a singer and a dancer, don't you? But you don't have the skills right. Vivian nodded her head sadly. The gnome smiled. Don't worry, the carpenter still has a place for you in your world. Keep reading and writing, for there you will find your true talents. The carpenter wants you to use you in that area. Your stories and poems will be put on display. In other words, published and they will inspire many. Um, the carpenter will mark himself on your writings. He will lead you to do ministry. Vivian and Jard smiled and nodded. Then they could hear dogs in the distance. The gnome smiled and explained, The dogs know about this place. Dogs are the only ones that can sense the tree's emotions. The dogs looked up into the trees as the tree shared their thoughts to them. The gnome smiled. Dogs are so loving and faithful of all the creatures, along with the dolphins, and their friendship and love is unconditional. Dogs and dolphins are the ones whose emotions are so deep after that of the carpenters and that of 
human beings. They long to bring both the physical world and the one you see here with your imagination together. Yes, dogs and dolphins see both worlds, for they dream too, for they dream too like we dream, yet they can see both all worlds. Birds were seen flying in and out from the world of imagination to the physical world. The gnome smiled. The birds also have the ability to see both worlds. Also the spiritual world, where the almighty, almighty ultimate creator lives. All of a sudden, Jard and Vivian could see birds having conversations with the angels. High up in the skies, above of both worlds, the gnome smiled. Angels long for all people to see what people cannot see with the human eye. The world of the spiritual and also the other of make-believe, which is, which in fact, the land of make-believe is true and not just make-believe. Sadly, most people have no belief. That is why the land of make-believe got named. Um got names make belief even though it's a real place but the carpenter longs for everyone to look past what can be seen in the natural just like you two did one day the two worlds will become one they will see into all worlds vivian charged smiled in front of them was a beautiful waterfall behind it lay gemstones and rainbow colored sand it was really beautiful Golden and silver mist was coming from its water drops. Each drop formed a golden or silver droplet. The children just dipped their toes in and were caught up in a powerful feeling of love and ecstasy. They were filled with joy as they happily splashed in the wall in its waters. Back in the physical world, both Jard and Vivian's dad had been caught up in a whirlwind of powerful love. This whirlwind formed clouds of bright rainbow colours which glittered and sparkled. Dogs, cats and other creatures also got caught up in the clouds. Then they were gently put back to the ground. The gnome smiled at the children. Walk through the waterfall. It will take you back to your world. Vivian and Jard complained. We don't want to go back. We love it here too much. The gnome smiled. One day you can come back, but for now you have work to do back in your own world. Jard and Vivian smiled together. True, and we want to go back to our family. The gnome smiled. Well, there you go then. Then you must go back. But one day we will meet again when the carpenter thinks the time is right. The children smiled as they walked back to their world. They met their dads on the other side and were so happy to see them and ran into their arms and hugged their dads. Their dad smiled. We do not. We didn't. Although we did not believe before. We believe now. But we do now believe. The end. And here are my thoughts on the story. Thoughts. The carpenter represents Jesus. He makes us into people that can be used for his glory. Like the stool, we do not always want to be made into what he wants us to be, but we must be willing as he knows best for our own lives and those lives around us. The gnome represents our guardian angel. He wants to guide and protect us and show us heaven. The land of imagination represents heaven. Heaven is a real place, not just of our imagination. However, we need faith to get there. To sum it up, we need to believe in what we cannot see, but we know in our hearts that it is real. And we need to trust in Jesus to make us what he wants us to be. The waterfall represents God's love, and so did the whirlwind. Once someone believes in his, once someone experiences the love of God, it can make the atheist become a believer if they submit to his love. So we will pray for those we love who do not know yet Jesus yet to experience his love for them. And that is the end of my story and hope you all enjoyed and um, God bless you and 
Bye for now.